Hello. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up a self-hosted Bitwarden server on TrueNAS scale. Before we dive in, there are a few things you'll want already set up. Ideally, a secure, secure remote access, a custom domain, as well as local DNS. If you don't have those configured yet, check out my other videos linked in the description. You can use Bitwarden locally, but having secure access outside your home network makes it far more useful. If you find these guides helpful, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials. To run Bitwarden on TrueNAS, we'll use Vault Warden, a lightweight alternative in implementation of the Bitwarden server. It's easier to deploy, uses fewer resources, and works seamlessly with Bitwarden apps. I'll also link the GitHub repo below if you'd like to learn more. So let's go ahead and get started. Head over to your TrueNAS dashboard. We'll go to Apps, Discover Apps, and let's go ahead and search for Vault Warden. Go ahead and install. Set a database password, as well as an admin token. The admin token is what you'll use to log into the admin dashboard and manage users. Enter the domain you would like to use. You'll need to add this domain later on in your reverse proxy manager, as well as your DNS. Leave the certificate ID blank, since we'll handle SSL through our reverse proxy. Go ahead and install Vault Warden. Once the app is running, go ahead and open the admin portal and log in with your admin token. The next step is configuring our email server. This allows Vault Warden to send signup invitations, password resets, and other notifications that you would generally see when using Bitwarden. For this guide, I'll use Gmail, but you can use any provider you prefer. I'll link the documentation for other setups in the description. Go ahead and open up the email settings section. Here, we'll enter all of the details from the documentation, in this case, for Gmail mail servers specifically. Feel free to enter whatever configuration you need for your specific mail server. For host, secure SMTP as well as port, we'll use all the default values for Gmail mail servers. For the from address, I'm simply using my general email and the from name I've customized to work with my system. For the username and password, this will be for whatever email that you are doing the from address for. Uh, the username, again, will generally be the same email. And for the password, uh, at least in Gmail's case, we will actually need to create an app password. So in order to do this, I'll have the link down in the description. If you navigate to that link, you should see a page similar to this one. Let's go ahead and create an app. Once your app is created, you'll see a password like this one. Just copy and paste this. Take note that this password does not actually need these spaces. Please be sure that you do not have spaces uh, when pasting this into the password. Back in our Vault Warden admin page, I've gone ahead and pasted my password, and I've gone ahead and shown it just so you can see that we do not have the spaces. With all of that set up, let's go ahead and save our changes. Now that our email settings are saved, let's head back into our email settings and send a test email. You should be greeted with a prompt saying that the email sent correctly. You can also verify this by going ahead and heading to our email. Once in our email, we should be greeted with a similar email to the following. Let's head back to the admin panel and continue our configuration. The next step is to invite users. Before inviting users, let's make sure our domain is accessible. Be sure to add the domain that you use to your reverse proxy manager, as well as having the correct SSL certificates for that domain. Also be sure to add it to your local DNS, whether that's Pi-hole or another service, so that you're able to access BitLocker locally. If you don't already have a reverse proxy and DNA is configured, check out my other videos linked below. Once you have all that enabled, let's go ahead and add some users. At the top of the admin dashboard, navigate to users and simply enter the email address of the user you'd like to add. Once your user is invited, they should show up within the user table. Go ahead and check your email to see if you received the following email. We now have an email asking us to join our Vault Warden organization. Go ahead and click the link to finish your signup. Enter whatever password you would like and create your account. Once created, we should see our new vault. To actually use Vault Warden day to day, let's connect it with the Bitwarden browser extension. Install the extension from your browser store. Once you have the extension installed, go ahead and open it. In order to access our self-hosted instance, we need to make sure that we set the accessing from bitwarden.com to self-hosting. Enter the domain that we set earlier and connect to our vault. Once you've set your server URL, go ahead and log in with your email and password. Once logged in, you should be greeted with your vault. You're now ready to start saving and syncing passwords. 
From here, you can also install the Bitwarden mobile app or desktop client and connect them the same way. You now have a fully self-hosted Bitwarden setup with Vault Warden on TrueNAS scale. If this video helped you out, please hit like, subscribe, and drop a, drop a comment with any questions or future topics you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching and happy self-hosting.